Greetings. Hey everybody, this is Scott from Santa Barbara and I thought I'd share some video. Um, it's not polished, it's not great, I'm not an editor, I just thought it would be good to kind of put out there. Um, this video is going to be of Dos Pueblos Engineering Academy, uh, located in Goleta, California, which is about 45 minutes north of the Haas factory on the central coast of California. So, um, basically, uh, I was we had some visitors at the Haas factory uh, from New Zealand and they had some extra time, so they actually came north into my territory that I manage for Haas. Um, and uh, they were, we were visiting some shops, and we went by Dos Pueblos Engineering Academy. And I captured some video, and I thought it might be helpful. So here's a video. Um, again, Dos Pueblos Engineering Academy. And this is inside Dos Pueblos High School. And this is a full four-year uh, CTE program where they cover all the uh, disciplines of manufacturing, from design to, and then we've got electronics, we have physics, and there's machining, and there's fabrication, and there's manual machining, and there's kind of a little bit of everything. And what makes this program really, really fascinating and really, really great is um, they've merged uh, a number of, uh, you know, they're doing some STEM, and then they, they, they added in a little art, which was, I think, a part of the secret formula that Amir, who founded it in 2002, um, really was passionate about, and as you'll see, it, with over 400 students, about 100 in every grade, it's really an amazing. I mean, it's like a makerspace here. They're making all kinds of interesting things and inspiring. Uh, we have a couple Haas there. We have a uh, Haas uh, Super Mini Mill, and I believe it's Super Mini Mill too. And then we also have a ST10. So everybody's being exposed to the Haas CNC. Um, at some point, I think uh, most students are getting their hands on it, but really it's just a, a great program and I wanted to share the video. Again, I'm not a professional editor, I just wanted to put it together. So the beginning of the video is going to be me walking through the program, and then the rest of it you're going to see a little of Amir talking about the, the programs and, and stuff like that. That's I just opened the door. they brought you. That's nice too. And then back here. Uh, you guys want to just really quickly go through them. Um, then there are the kinetic sculptures specifically just like the sand form Here, tube right there. And then you'll be able to stand over the thing Job so you can see I haven't been using lead 
about all the engineering but at the core this is designed to delight us it's like hey that's really fun to look at that's really cool it's not designed to do anything practical it's totally impractical but there's a lot of practical elements in it and what it does is it allows kids in the world to kind of see engineering kind of under the hood but when you look under the hood of a car again you're a car person if you're excited about that if someone gets excited about this, they can, the more, more connections, it, again, it opens the tent. I wanted to raise the level of sophistication of what they were physically making. I wanted to raise the sophistication of the electronics and raise the sophistication of the presentation. We wanted the thing to be cooler than the light sculpture. They should feel like they're ascending. But we also knew that a lot of what we do the senior year is mechanism based and there were no mechanisms in what we had developed. So in this thing, not only does it present well from an artistic piece, and again, this is what I was telling you about, like kids take this home, every single junior, put that on their mantle, and at Thanksgiving, when the relatives come over, they say, where did you buy that? That's really cool, I wanna get one. And that kid raises their hand or looks up and says, I made that. And that starts a discussion about their education, which is totally different than the normal discussions that they have, which is, did you get your homework done? and how are your grades? This is a much better way to have, you know, you want people to be, you, I, I, it kills me that we put kids in school for six hours a day and nobody recognizes what they're doing. And the reason we don't recognize what they're doing is I think we all know this, much of it is worthless. We would be much better off teaching people less stuff and applying it than more stuff and not applying it. Because when you teach kids a bunch of stuff, it just goes in one ear and out the other. I don't remember, I mean, I have, I have degrees in engineering and physics and education, and I got a lot of stuff jammed in my brain, and I can't remember most of it. I can't solve a calculus problem at this point in my life, <laughs> but I know what calculus is for, and I think it would have been better to focus on what is calculus for and really broaden that understanding than to be sitting there just going through the machinations of problem after problem after problem. So. This not only does it present the art, but unlike this, which I showed you, which is a little bit um, <coughs> hard to see what's going on in here, you can point and kind of get a feel. We wanted to make the presentation better. This is us as an organization learning. So we made it so that the back was transparent so that the kids could talk about gear ratios, so they could talk about timing belts, so they could really share the soldering process and the different components on there that they worked on. And really what we've done is present the engineering in an artistic way, and we've also just created something that's artistic. This is, was in a museum, this was in an art museum. It's basically got 60 different physics experiments. This was the beginning of the whole thing. And we had 60 kids working on this, and in one year we designed this from scratch and built it. It was a little crazy, it's got over 50,000 parts, and it does a bunch of stuff. Right now it's, it's outward servicing, and I'm sorry, it's like Disneyland where the cool ride is out of service. But um, we're upgrading it to basically be able to hopefully put it in a museum with less of our docenting there. We want to be able to put it somewhere and have a technical docent from a museum be able to run it. So that's where this is, is it's, it's in that state. This is a program within a comprehensive high school. So they spend a period of their day in here, and then the rest of their day they're taking the traditional classes. So we do with a specialized engineering curriculum. You could almost think of it as like the kids that are in this program are majoring in like product development, engineering design, but they're doing it at a high school level, and they're still doing the general ed requirements and the math and all that. We still, we have math in here, but we don't teach their math class in here. We just utilize math like you would in a science class or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. To give you a sense of, I talked about kind of the interdisciplinary nature of the project. This is a, a light sculpture. And so in the sophomore year, every student makes one of these. They all look different. They have different artistic patterns, different colors, etc. They fabricate it all. So they're learning how to do, I mean, this has a chamfer on it. Um, I can bring that over there in a second. It's got an Arduino. It's got a circuit board. So they learn all the physics of the circuitry as opposed to just learning equations. The equations that you would learn related to electricity in a high school setting are designed specifically around the circuit board. So then they do that. Um, they do all the CAD. This is like a CAD model of it. And then they do all the programming, all the manufacturing, all the soldering, everything. So they build the whole thing from scratch. 
to go to a frequency where it's like good. Yeah. That's just, again the same thing. When you're when you're machining that part, that big old part is basically doing some kind of oscillation where like there, if you looked at it, there'd be a wave pattern in it and it would be going in and out. It's the same thing that happens on this piece of metal. So this piece of metal is vibrating and where the sand is sitting is a place where the metal is not moving. But if it's not near the harmonic, then you aren't gonna get that resonance and it's also quieter. So listen yeah. to the difference. If he plays like a note and then play, a, play one that's actually the natural frequency. As a resonance chamber and the frequencies agree. And this is, again, let's just take it to machining. This is the same thing as if you've ever machined like a big old thing and it starts to sing. And you gotta like take a rag and put, you know, oil on it and hold on to it while you're machining to kill out the ringing. It's because the way that you're basically, that tool is pulsing that, is hitting the natural frequency and causing that thing to start to oscillate. And that's exactly what's happening here. So this is, that these principles, that's the other thing, they cross all different domains of, of basically science and engineering. And a lot of times, folks will see something like that, know that it's happening, but maybe they haven't had the experience behind that. And these are the type of ideas, if we create educational things like that, you can see whatever shop you're going to is not gonna be as fun as this. So you might as well. <laughs> and where it stops, you then get access to one of the physics experiments. So right now you're moving this, he's like moving that wave. Again, most kids haven't seen a camp. This would be a museum, and it's a, uh, it draws the project, the project demands all of the different spaces. There's like a science space, and then when they when they go back to answer your question, what are they doing in the other space? That's the end of the video. Um, if you'd like more information on Dos Pueblos Engineering Academy, you can go to uh, dos, uh, dpengineering.org. This is a little on their website. As you can see, Dos Pueblos is a four-year CTE program, and uh, you can go through the mission statement and the, the faculty. And here it's got admissions if you're interested, um, academics, <laughs> epidemics, students, etc., etc. So, and then definitely the support us. Um, and uh, yeah, check into that for sure. Uh, great program. Uh, if you'd like to know uh, a little bit more about me, I'm the Haas Territory Manager, works um, out of HFO Anaheim. And if you want to follow me, you will see more videos like this. You can go to find me on Coventry Coast Valley on Facebook. You can go to Coventry Coast Valley on Instagram. I try to post as much as I can of what it's like in the field here in the Central Coast. Uh, Twitter, and then also YouTube channel, which you'll see um, hopefully some more content this year uh, if I can uh, try to squeeze it in after hours so everybody enjoy and again uh, this video um, hopefully was helpful for everybody in education and to see what different people are doing around I thank every school that's looking at manufacturing and uh, if I can be of assistance please reach out you can reach me at 805-364-8405 have a great day bye